Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at a watch that combines several different threads of IWC's history. This is the IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph Top Gun Miramar Reference 3880-02. 46 millimeters, primarily ceramic with a dash of titanium. This watch combines several classic references from IWC's heritage into one modern naval aviation-inspired sports watch tribute. So in terms of those threads of history, it starts really with the 1940 B or or the Type 52 TSC, as IW called it in-house. That watch set the basic, the basic blueprint for a large pilot's professional reference with this enormous instrument style 0 to 60 calibrated minute track with the internal inner hour track. You can see the hour track, which is swept inboard of the minute track in a contrasting mm -hmm. red. Now that's where the basic the basic schema came from. But with the ceramic case on a pilot's reference, we're going to jump to the early 1990s. This is in reference to IWC's Pilot's Chronograph Reference 3705 in ceramic, a rare reference. Somewhere between 1200 and 1500 were made between 1994 and the late 1990s. It was all done and dusted by 2000. But by that time, IWC was gearing up for the third sort of tributary reference that informs this design, which was the revival of the traditional IWC Big Pilot inspired by that 1940B or the 2002 to present Big Pilot reference gave us the modern oversized IWC sports watch and that's where the naval aviation inspiration and the original artistic content of this reference 3880-02 Miramar come in. Now Miramar, that's a name that should ring a bell. Because if you've ever seen the, well, basically the Jerry Bruckheimer classic, I was going to say box office hit, but at this point it's a piece of, it's an article of culture. But Top Gun, the U.S. Navy Fighter Weapons School, better known as Top Gun, was based at Miramar from 1969 to 1996. Now, they're off at an Air Force base at this point. They're doing joint training. It's, it's pretty complicated. But the bottom line is this watch was inspired by that classical era. From 69 to 96, the Miramar base was the home to the Fighter Weapons School, the home to Top Gun. And this watch has a raffish aviator's attitude about it. On the wrist, you can see right here that the watch has tremendous presence. It was designed to be visible as an instrument in the 1940s, and that B Ur DNA carries through to the present day. You can see it looks like something plucked from the cockpit of a traditional aircraft. Now today they're all glass cockpits and reconfigurable displays, but this is the classical image of aviation anyone who ever came up on a Cessna recalls. If you've ever seen an old F-14 circa, you know, 1986 cockpit, these are the kind of instruments that were used even in that day, and visibility is key, legibility is key. IWC still nails the aesthetic decades after they set the mold for this type of watch. Now, Although it is 46 millimeters, the lugs are short, and it's only about 16 and a half millimeters thick. So combined with its, its girth and a little bit of tumble home from the top of the sapphire, you could see that a, a sleeve could slide up and over this, but think sweater, think casual long sleeve. This is not really a dress watch. This is a sporty watch. This is a good times watch, but it's also a supremely comfortable watch. Now the combination of textile and I'm going to show you underneath calfskin leather strap conforms beautifully. It's very supple, although this is a watch purchased recently, actually this year, with warranty from uh, the IWC boutique. The bottom line is that the strap really doesn't need to be broken in to be comfortable. It's supple, it's smooth, it's comfortable right out of the box. That's a great start for a strap that's just going to break in and grow more comfortable with time. The watch is big, but it spreads its mass nicely. There are no hot spots. It doesn't pinch skin or pull skin. No matter what I do with my wrist, I can't get that crown or the pushers to dig in, and I'm really hyper-extending here to try to prove the point, but this is a very comfortable watch. Even as large as it is, if you like the look, but your only reservations are about fit and whether the watch will hula hoop on your wrist, I've got great news, it will not. Moreover, because the watch has a traditional tang and pin buckle, it's far easier to get a precise fit with this type of loop and buckle, uh, basically, system, where you've got holes perforations and a pin buckle. Much easier to get a precise fit than with a bracelet or a deployant. So again, the last of those fears regarding fit on a smaller wrist should be assuaged. I'm going to add that my wrist, I usually mention this, 
is six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. I've got no issues there. Here you can see the span lug to lug fits nicely. It's a little big, but there's really no overhang. It doesn't look awkward or feel awkward. If you like the look of a big black watch, you can sign up for this quite safely with a wrist, I would say down to about six inches in circumference and still fit very well. Now, the watch is equipped with IWC's own in-house movement, and I'll get to that in a moment, but I want to focus on the dial itself. We talked a little bit about the basic instrument look and where that comes from, the early 1940s, but this model in particular has a special treatment. Now, they are paying deference to vintage-style watches with this ecru sort of dirty dial look, the simulated radium patina around the minute track, on the hands, on the subdial hands. The bottom line is it looks like an aged vintage watch in that respect, but there's also a high contrast and a playful kind of attitude going on here. High contrast is ensured with that ecru printing on top of a tobacco base. Although IWC calls this anthracite on their website, it doesn't play as anthracite. It doesn't look grayish. It looks like a slightly rich mocha, slightly tobacco tone. There's a little bit of a bronze in there that doesn't come through in IWC's description, and I want to make sure I emphasize that. It plays very nicely against this warm red 1 through 12 hour track right here. The red contrasts nicely, and while that could get lost on a purely black dial, it stands out enough without being garish on the tobacco background. Again, the theme being contrast, you can see that the date wheel, which is of the exposed date wheel variety, is black with white printing, so it stands out distinctly from both the hour track in which it's mounted and inboard of the minute track, which features a contrasting graphic tone. Very effective on IWC's part, certain to be a little controversial. I know John Mayer is not a fan, but I think it looks tremendous in person, and I think this is a really distinctive reference with a lot of original character. IWC's caliber 89365 flyback automatic chronograph movement resides inside. I'll show you the case back just so the mystery is... Uh, obviated before we get into the movement within. There is no display case back. There's a tribute to Top Gun and the United States Navy Fighter Weapons School. The Fighter Weapons School, of course, established to teach advanced aerial combat techniques with a focus on dogfighting as opposed to a reliance on automated weapons systems. This was essentially, and remains, the aerial combat maneuvering program within the United States Navy. So let's talk a little bit about that movement. The movement is IWC's own in-house caliber, introduced during the mid-2000s. The 89000 series now features automatic winding via IWC's signature Paul-based bidirectional Peloton winding system, so there's no tendency of the rotor, as large and heavy as it is, to freewheel awkwardly in either direction and cause a wobbling sensation on the wrist. This is a very tough modern movement, fully shock protected. It also features an anti-magnetic soft iron Faraday cage around it so that it's shielded from most magnetic fields of the type that you'll see in, you know, offices with powerful computers, large wiring looms, uh, powerful car stereo systems, home entertainment systems that might otherwise magnetize the hairspring of a mechanical watch, this watch has protection against that. It also features a sapphire that's secured against decompression, so that's kind of a uh, counterintuitive feature, but one that's most apropos for a pilot's watch. Getting back to the movement, the movement itself features a 68-hour power reserve, so with automatic winding, you're really not going to have to top this watch off unless you really have a large rotation of watches and the watch is going to sit for three days or more. So for the most part, it's a set it and forget it watch. It does feature hacking, so when you pull the crown, it will stop that lancet seconds hand itself illuminated and allow you to synchronize precisely to a reference time, such as an atomic clock. Again, very becoming of a pilot's watch. Now, this IWC pilot's watch chronograph Top Gun Miramar reference 3880-02 is 100% complete with all IWC factory accessories. Purchased from the IWC boutique, it also includes valid factory warranty. So you're really getting the full package here. See this IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph Top Gun Miramar on our website, Watch You Want.